Hey, what's up? My name is Karina Pittman. Welcome to my channel. Here we discuss all things weight loss, reaching your goals, and ultimately just getting where you want to be. And so today I want to discuss my keto journey. Keto, low carb, high fat journey. So let's just hop right into it. I have been working out and eating healthy and like fitness freaky for the past like four or five years now. I've done low carb, I've done high carb, I have done yo-yo dieting, I have done vegan, I've done paleo, I have done vegetarian, I've done pescatarian, I've done carb cycling, I've pretty much done it all. Um, and with that, I have also been a health freak. I am obsessed with being healthy, I'm obsessed with lifting, and I had always done that. Um, my first my first real transition in the industry was when I was trying to grow my butt and that, there's a photo right here but with that being said that was four years ago and at that time I was like okay high carb this you know cal caloric surplus and whatever and I'm also a type 1 diabetic and so my sugars were also constantly spiking just for the fact of me trying to grow a body part so being in a caloric surplus and eating high carb because that's what i thought and that's yes i got me to my goal body goal body at the time so growing a bigger butt but that also led me to have more fat and look a certain way so at the same time i was confident but at the same time i wasn't so at that time, I was constantly having my sugar go up and down, up and down, and that was not good for health reasons. So then, years go by, whatever, I do all the diets. I I've came, I came across keto, I've always heard about keto, but I always said, no, 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 I will lose my butt, because I, so, I love to keep my shape. <laughs> Unless I'm getting smaller, but my butt's staying the same, like, so I was like, no, 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 I can't do keto because I need carbs to keep my muscle. And you know, that whole myth thing, which if you aren't keto or low carb right now, trust me, I'm gonna tell you right here and right now that that is not the case. It is not as much as we seem. So I ended up going keto and primal. So as some of you may know, I am certified primal health coach and that involves eating a keto type diet. I eat lower carb. I don't eat 25 carbs a day. I eat much more than that because also I am a diabetic, but also I like carbs. So I eat around 100 to 70, 50 to 100 carbs a day. So I ended up starting keto. I, I started keto. I did not do dairy because I already knew that my skin, when I went vegan and I eliminated all dairy, like my skin cleared up so much. Um, I don't do dairy, but I do butter. I do butter, like some parts of dairy I do, but milk I do not do whatsoever. Um, so I also don't do gluten. But anyways, this is what happened when I transitioned. I still have my butt. So to preface the beginning of the video, I talked about I didn't want to lose my butt. I still have it. I still eat the same amount of calories. So essentially the difference is, is we're just switching nutrients. So instead of being carb focused, I'm fat focused. So, and eating the same calories as I was before, but I am smaller as you can see in the photos. My blood sugar and my A1C went down, which is so good. I wasn't having those highs or those constant spikes anymore. It was more like that. And my, my blood sugar, like I, it was perfect. I did not need to correct much and it was like the best thing that ever happened to me. So since I wasn't having those constant spikes, I was able to lose fat because my body wasn't going to hold on to fat. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. That is essentially what happened. I am thinner and let me tell you this right now because I know a lot of people, they want to lose weight or they want to lose fat on the, the journey. Um, keep in mind you either a will stay the same weight but if you do have a lot of weight to lose like you'll lose weight no no doubt about it but i am pretty much the same weight so but i am completely different in my body size 
So keep that in mind. The biggest thing for me was I was scared to transition because I didn't want to lose my muscle. I transitioned, I've gotten smaller, my body fat shrunk, and then also I kept my muscle in the way I was looking. And I could still do heavy lifts. I still have the same amount of strength I did when I was eating high carb. So the only difference now is that I eat high fat, lower carb, and moderate protein. That's the only difference. My blood sugar is stable, my A1C has dropped, and things are amazing. So that is my experience with keto, low carb, primal. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a DM on Creative on Instagram or comment down below. Um, let's chat about it. If you are interested in coaching or joining my membership site, that will be in the description as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up comment any questions you have and let's chat about it let's create a conversation if you have had a transformation with keto i would love to hear about your wins um also if you do live in florida and you are keto or interested in keto join my free florida keto facebook group and i will see you soon